What's up? I'm back, everybody, with a review for The Protégé. Starring Maggie Q, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Keaton. We also have some supporting actors and actresses that are relatively unknown to me. So let's just focus on the main three. I'm making lyrics right now. How I felt about this movie, the review for this movie, can really be summed up by this right here. That is the essence of the film. I am telling you, this film will put you to sleep. And this is by no means a bad film though. It's just not an intriguing film. It feels like it takes tropes, feels like it takes some influence from a lot of different source material and puts them together that doesn't but doesn't add anything to it or make it better. We have the main character, Anna Dutton, who was found as a lost baby, lost child. We see this in the trailer by Samuel Jackson is trained to be this ultimate killer. She is stoic to no, no end, no degree. And on screen, that translates into a boring character to watch. I'm going to focus on her for the majority of the review, mainly because her character at its core is to me, what's the problem with the film? The film was in, not intriguing because her character was not intriguing. Uh, Samuel Jackson, Michael Keaton, they play their roles well. One is the father figure, that being Samuel Jackson, and Michael Keaton being somewhat of a love interest and a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type of way before they got married. Maggie Q does well in this film, and honestly, she disguises either her age or just maybe her mobility very well. However, the choreography around her character, the moves that she uses, all of that didn't really work for me. John Wick would probably have helped this film a lot if they had got the choreographer from John Wick and some sense of weight into the punches and the action scenes. This film definitely would have made more sense and not drawn me out of it nearly as much. But when I see Maggie Q, 120 pound Maggie Q on a good day, knocking out dudes with a kick, with a punch that are easily 100, 200 pounds more, her, more than her, it, it breaks me out of the film, but you have to suspend your disbelief for this. The film also had a huge and very slow uh, second act. Samuel Jackson's in the first act, a lot of the film, and his charisma helps carry the film, in my opinion. You get to the second act, some plot devices, the, you know, converge, and Samuel Jackson and Maggie Q have to diverge and go on their separate paths. And Maggie Q just doesn't hold the film for me. Her character does not have enough emotion and is not emotive enough to make the film actually intriguing. I found myself falling asleep. Michael Keaton helps a little bit, but honestly, maybe it's because I'm young. I truthfully just saw two old people that wanted to bone. And lastly, in the third act, it's cut short. It feels like... A lot of the scene was cut out maybe or some of the scenes were just sped up real quick where we got through the action within a couple of minutes and then we got to the final climactic fight which was also a couple of minutes and then that was it film over everything's done this film was a mixed bag and it definitely was not the strongest and I would say probably the worst <laughs> that Samuel Jackson has released in 2021 have you guys even heard of this film? I mean, I did not hear about it until the day it came out. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Maggie Q, Samuel, Michael Keaton, they did their job. They showed up for work and they played their characters well. It definitely wasn't wooden or, you know, a bad performance. But it was just not a great plot, not a great story, not intriguing characters enough to keep any audience awake. Definitely a wait to watch movie. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did like the content, please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Peace.